Now in this video we're going to multiply and divide numbers that are in scientific notation. So this is page one, this is page two. And then we're going to check our answers using the calculator, okay? So please do these by hand and then check with the calculator. Three times ten to the power of nine. And these parentheses are beside each other. When parentheses are beside each other it means multiply. So it's this multiplied by this, and this is two times ten to the power of twenty. Now just for fun, write it like this. This is three, you know, times ten to the power of nine, right? Times two, times ten to the power of twenty. Okay? Now, you know, if you're multiplying numbers, you can interchange them. In other words, um, if you had, you know, 5 times 2 is 10, and then times 3, that's 30. You can interchange these. You can write 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 times 2 is 30 as well, right? So I've interchanged the 3, the 2, and the 5, and, and I still get the same answer. So when we multiply, we can interchange the factors. So I can write this, obviously, 3 times 2, right? Times 10 to the power of 9, times 10 to the power of 20, okay? Now, at this point, you know, you can say, okay, 3 times 2 gives me 6, okay? And now I can look at my powers my of 10. I've got 10 to the power of 9 times 10, times 10 to the power of 20. Now the reason I like to do this is to show you an, an application of your exponent rules. Here we're multiplying by the same base. What's the rule with the exponents? If you multiply the same base, what do you do with the exponents? Do you add them, subtract them, or, multipl or multiply or divide or what? We multiply by the same base, what do we do with the exponents? Do we add them, right? So this this times this gives us 10 to the power of, you know, 9 plus 20, or 10 to the power of 29, right? So I have, you know, 6 times 10 to the power of 29, so I can write that, you know, 6 times 10 to the power of 29. So, and obviously, I didn't have to take all these steps, so I just wanted to really break that down to show you that this, this is just 3 times this, and then times 2 times this. So I can just go 3 times 2 is 6, 10 to the power of 9 times 10 to the power of 20 is 10 to the power of 29, and, you know, this is the answer, right? So, if you were doing negative numbers, 4 times 10 to the power of negative 7, all times 3 times 10 to the power of negative 12, you know, this is just, once again, 4 times this number, and then this is all times this, so it's just 4 numbers being multiplied. So I can rearrange that and write it as 4 times 3 times 10 to the negative 7 times 10 to the power of negative 12. Are we okay with this step? That We need to understand this step. That's why I went over this example in detail. Okay. So I can, it's just 4 numbers multiplied, so I can rewrite them like that. Now the 4 times the 3 gives me the number 12. 10 to the power of negative 7 times 10 to the negative 12 is simply 10 to the power of negative 7 plus negative 12. We're multiplying by the same base. If we multiply by the same base, we need to add the exponents. Negative 7 and negative 12 makes, um, this is 10 to the power of negative 19. So what I have is 12 times, you know, 12 times 10 to the negative 19. And the problem is this is actually not scientific notation because we need the, dec the decimal point is here right now in this in this number. We need the decimal point to be in front of the one. So if we move it over, okay, this this twelve is actually one point two times ten to the power of one. Okay, that's what twelve is, isn't it? And then we still have you know times ten to the power of negative nineteen. So if I multiply these guys together, same base, multiply by the same base, I add the exponent. So that's 10 to the power of, you know, 1 plus negative 19. This becomes 10 to the power of negative 18. So the answer is actually 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 18. Okay? So interesting step there. And yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but let's try it with this one. Seven times, you try it yourself. So press pause and see if you can figure it out with this one. Seven times 10 to the negative 12. All times three times 10 to the negative four. Just realize that, you know, it's this number times this number. 
Okay, and then times this number times this number. So it can be rewritten, you know, 7 times 3 times 10 to the negative 12 times 10 to the negative 4, okay? And the 7 times 3 gives us 21. We like to put this into scientific notation, and that, that you know, the decimal point is here. If I move it over 1, to there it becomes 2.1 times 10 to the power of 1, or 2.1 times 10. Okay, then we can multiply, you know, by the 10 to the negative 12, and then multiply by the 10 to the negative 4. Okay, and so it's just, just like here, you know, what I've got the same base here, okay? So I'm multiplying by the same base, I can just add the exponents. Like multiply these two, and this is 10 to the 1 plus, plus negative 12, which is 10 to the negative 11. And then times that by 10 to the uh, negative 4, you know, yeah, I guess I'll just write all out. And that becomes um, 10 to the negative 11 plus negative 4. Of course, we could have just added all the numbers together. Look, negative 12, negative 4 is negative 16. Add 1, you've got negative 15. So, you know, after you calculate this thing, you should have 10 to the negative 15. Or negative 11 and negative 4 is negative 15. So, you have 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 15. So, it's good to do these guys by hand, okay, because you've got to see, you know, where your answer comes from and it's nice to see an application of the product rule when we multiply by the same base we add exponents okay but of course it would also be nice to do these by calculator so let's check these guys let's you know check say uh, this one 4 times 10 to the power of negative 7 and then times 3 times 10 to the negative 12 Okay, let's just, sorry, this is how it started, 4 times 10 to the negative 7, and then times 3 times uh, 10 to the negative 12, okay, so if I put that in the calculator, I'll put parenthesis, see that, you can do that, right, parenthesis, and then 4 times, it gives a star instead of an x, um, 10 to the power of, the power button is here this little hat, see that? Press him to the power of negative 7, negative, always use this negative down here, okay, this is the negative button, negative 7, okay, and then close parenthesis, right? So that's 4 times 10 to the power of negative 7, then another, another parenthesis, and then we go 3 times 10 to the power of, power button is here, this is the power button, sorry, oh. power button is here, so press that, right, to the power of, and then negative, the negative button is down here, always use this for negative, this button is subtract, this is negative, don't confuse them, the calculator will give you an error if you do, the calculator thinks negative and subtract are different, okay, and so we just type in this line and just press enter, and it's 1.2 e negative 18, which we should know if we if we followed our class in sequence properly, we should know that this is 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 18. Okay, so we get 1.2 e negative 18. So this is the same thing as 1.2 times 10 to the negative 18, right? Okay, so let's check this guy. So obviously if you're doing a test and you get stuck, just put it into your calculator and get the answer, right? So 7 times 10 to the negative 12, we go parenthesis, 7 times 10 to the power of negative 12, close parenthesis, 7 times 10 to the power of negative 12, and then times 3 times 10 to the power of this little hat button here once again and it's negative 4 okay press enter 2.1 e negative 15 what did we get we got 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 15 and of course that is 2.1 e negative 15 in calculator language right so this is the same thing so we got this one correct also so we've done it by hand then we check with the calculator that's always the best way to learn something Okay, in math.